Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to what very well could be my very last episode with Atlanta United. We have reached the finals of the MLS. I have got my Eastern Conference semi-final to play. We've been drawn against the uh, Montreal Impact. That's who we've got. It's a two-legged affair, an away leg, and then a home leg. And I'm probably going to sim one, play the other. The other teams from our conference that have made it through are DC United and the Columbus Crew. And in the Western Conference, we've had Sporting Kansas City, Minnesota United, LA Galaxy, and the Portland Timbers, which means that L uh, LAFC are out. That's interesting. FC Dallas are gone. New England's gone. And even the New York City uh, uh, or NYCFC. We have, unfortunately, one injury to one of our starting 11 players, Hector Villalba, or, or Villalba, as I'm now learning. Um, but yeah, he will more than likely be out for the entirety of the final series because um, I think it was a bad one. But here we go, though. We're simming the first leg. We're always going to sim the first leg regardless. So we'll play the second and then set up, you know, whatever happens on from there. We will hope that we can get some sort of good result against the impact, even if we're the away side. We've got our best team out there. And they have 1-2-1. One, one. Of course they have. It's a fucking away game. They ne you never get anything, anything, ever away from home. So, we're going to be down going into the second leg then, which is unfortunate. I've swapped up training a little bit. So, Walter Burns, Campbell, and our uh, scouted future star in the last episode, Justice Wagner, our German centre-back. is. Uh, I'm going to start giving him some drills as well. Imagine the scenes if I were to just get dumped out straight away. I, I, I can't have it. I, I absolutely can't let it happen. All right, then, please. We have to at least make the final. I want to make the finals at least, please. We've th This team is too good. I've had to make some changes to the starting 11 too, and not just to the right midfield position, Hector Villalba's injury, and I'm playing Carlton there at that point or at that position. But I now apparently have found out that uh, Pogba, Florentine Pogba, my 74-rated centre-back, is red-carded. He picked up a, I don't know, it's a continuate too many yellows or whatever. I didn't think he got a red card in the sim game, unless I missed it. But that means now I've had to play another center back and I'm going to go with that 65 rated Justice Wagner. I'm giving him a shot in a big, big game. We're down 2-1. We need to pull it back. And even Joseph Martinez or Joseph Martinez is a little tired. So I, I've got to try to hopefully strike early, tie things up on aggregate and then just go from there. Come on, lads. We've got to do so much better than just the conference semi-finals. After rallying and finishing second in our conference, I just can't, I can't let it happen. And look at this too, by the way, Gonzalo Martinez. I, you know, have been, I've been on and off with him this season. He's been either great or just completely invisible. He's still the golden, he's still the golden boots, uh, or he's still the highest scorer in this team. Yes, higher than Joseph Martinez. They've got uh, Pablo Piatti or Piat. Piatti, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's the one that got like, I don't know, two goals against us in the last game. That's Bakary Sanya too, by the way, the number 33. So in case you're wondering where, what he was up to these days. All right, we're down on aggregate. Let's fight back. Come on. The ball over the top. Can he win this header? No, he can't. Can the man in front win? He can. Yes, he can. But man, he's just headed straight to the only defender on the line. Surrounded. But there's the gap there. I was thinking about the cross, but no, instead I'm going to put it back into a dangerous area. Oh, I tried to find that bottom corner. The goalkeeper really came a long way across and made the save. Knock it forward. There we go. Gonzalo Martinez runs onto it. That's a sharp turn, you know. Oh, absolutely. Gore oh, glorious. Martinez, Joseph Martinez, fires it right past the goalkeeper, tying it up 2-2 on aggregate. Let's go, boys. From one end to the other, lightning quick. And, I mean, you are not going to be able to catch Joseph Martinez. He is lightning quick. There we go. One big, big goal to get us back on aggregate or back level on aggregate. Just one goal now. It's right there, boys. We just can't. Oh, God, and they're going to sweat this. Oh, but an amazing clearance. I would I, I would genuinely just had to accept it that they were going to score there. And a defender had come out of nowhere to make a crucial intercept. There's another big intercept. Playing through, playing through quick. Oh, this could be glorious. It could be. No, that is not a good enough finish. Just as Wagner's on this one. Oh, please, if he scores today, that would be fantastic. Come on. Is this another one for Martinez? Oh, brilliant touch. Fantastic touch! Joseph Martinez did not lose any momentum when he took that ball. Just kept on running like he had all throughout that attack. And what a strike. Just hard and low into the corner. 
Mate, what a striker. What a star. Look at this. Just send him through and then just a ama amazing touch. Like, fantastic. If he takes that any any worse off, if he slows down any more there, then that defender is going to come across and cut off that shot. But no. And even the shot itself is glorious. We take the lead outright on aggregate, and it's not even half time. And Joseph Martinez could very well, he could very well be getting a hat trick with how well we're hitting this team on the counter. Gonna have to go a long way, very long way. Still going with it. Picked this one off. Still lost it. Oh, got it again. Unbelievable. Lost it again. Fuck off, guys. Come on. Then they turn it over again. Are we actually able to hold on to this ball now? Yes, we are. And could it lead to another goal? Could it? Could it lead to a first half hat trick? Oh my goodness, Martinez is away here. Shifted to his ah oh, right foot. It is a first half hat trick. Joseph Martinez showing up big time in the conference semis. Look at that. They just they're giving him too much space. They're just letting him do whatever he wants. They just step overs, creates the angle, and just got the shot off. Look, Camacho got back, but they're in between the two of them, finding the bottom corner. Unbelievable. What a game he is having. This is sensational. He's three goals away from Wayne Rooney and Martinez as the highest goal scorers in MLS. He could do it today with the way he's on track for it. And it's half time. We don't just manage to get the lead off of Montreal Impact before half time. We actually extend it to a two goal advantage. Come on, we are well on top today. Oh, missed that one. Absolutely. Escobar season, my lord. Anyway, time to start shoring up the game. That's what I'm going to do. I'm taking off Carlton and I'm taking off Joseph Martinez. He's got his hat trick. I've brought on Sarpreet Singh. So we're going to get to see him, a former Adelaide United player and one of my old players from my old club, get a run at my new club, Atlanta. Man, where, where are my defenders at? I'm not so sure what's going on at the moment. Oh, that is fucked. Are you kidding me? They get a header and... Of course, ultimate difficulty. They only get it one way. They whip the cross in. I've got a defender in front too, by the way, but he just stands still and lets his man, yeah, get, a front, get ahead of him. That has hit the post, hit the back of my goalkeeper's hand, and gone in. So it's going to be an own goal for him. Are you mental? Wow. And now out of nowhere, they have a lifeline into this game. Seriously. And I don't know if the away goal rule comes into effect here or not, but ah, oh, if they fucking tie this up and go through on away goals, I'll be even more pissed. Look to play that cross in. That's a good one. No, it's. I thought it was. Anyway, Costa can get a chance at it. I'm just spamming B. Oh, we've had too many opportunities to absolutely kill this game off. Bakary Sanya, we blocked the cross. It's crucial that we do that. Acosta, are you fucking kidding me? You literally want to get dragged, don't you? Oh, my God. Piatti, tackle. Oh, big crucial one. That might be off of them as well. Oh my goodness, it is too. Let's eat into this clock. I just have to do whatever I can. It'll work for now, will it? No. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We've got it. We've got it. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, suffered a little scare toward the end, but we go through in the end. I think it's 4-2 on aggregate. And take a look at this. It's only the second hat-trick that we have ever had in this career mode series. The first went to Gonzalo Martinez. Now Josef Martinez picks up his. And in a conference semi-final, in a second leg, when we needed him to stand up, he's done it. Get in, boys. Good stuff. Now we wait to see who we face in the conference finals. It's going to be Columbus Crew. And I'm not too surprised about that since they finished on top of the conference. So it's 1v2. Uh, I don't know who finished where in the Western Conference. Let me check. It was LA Galaxy and Minnesota United that finished in second. So even though it's 1v2 in the Eastern Conference in the West, it's third versus fourth with Portland versus Sporting. Pogba is now back and available for selection, which is good because uh, I don't know. I, I actually didn't mind Justice Wagner too badly in that game. I thought he did okay. But um, yeah, I, I'm happy to have uh, almost 10 overall higher player back. And we only have a three-day break until the next game against Columbus Crew. So this game too, by the way, is a home game, the first leg. So I'm very happy to be simulating this one instead of the away leg. And Jesus Christ, look, it's only a three-day break. Are you kidding me? All my players are going to be stuffed. We've got basically three games played in the space of a week. Uh, it's it's all right. We'll, we'll, regardless, I'm going to play the starting 11 team, the main team for this one. Can we hopefully get a win? We're the team at... Oh, oh my God. We were the team at home. They scored immediately. We got a goal straight away. What's it going to finish at? 1-1 draw. 
and Carlton picked up an injury. So the guy that I had filling in for my injured right midfielder has now got injured himself. It's not a good one either. He's out for five weeks. Wow. All right then. Yeah, well, this will be a challenge because um, unlike the second leg where, yes, we were down on aggregate, um, at least it was a home game and we had a pretty much fully fit starting 11, mostly fully fit anyway. Now everyone's pretty much almost everyone in the team is a little bit tired. So I'm going to have to try to, again, do what I typically do, which is try to take the lead early, really build a lead in that first half. It's going to be very important with so many big name players really tired. Here we go, everybody. This is it to be crowned as champions of the at least Eastern Conference. But you know that that's not what we want. We want that MLS Cup. We want to be crowned champions overall. Zach Steffen, Rubinio, Yazi Zardes, Kovalenko, and a couple of other very decent names. And I remember playing this very fixture before, Columbus Crew away, and they were trouble. They were the hardest game that they that I'd been given in the entirety of the MLS. If I am going to make the MLS Cup final, I am going to earn it right here. The winner will face either the Portland Timbers or Kansas City in the MLS Cup final. It's got to be us. It has to be. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, they didn't pick up Sarpreet Singh. He's away, but he's not completely away here. A little fake shot. Right-hand side. Don't tell me. Oh, my God. I thought for a second my, one of my own got in the way, but it's cleared. Tackle from Nagby. Barco. Trying to play it up the line once more. Salro. Literally, every time I turn the ball over, he's the one. But Barco with a big turnover. And the first goal of this game. Huge to win it back in their own third like that. And look, it's Gonzalo Martinez that's hit a big one. Look at that. Poor passing, poor turnover. It's a simple ball in and a great strike to beat Zach Steffen. Martinez playing at the right midfield position in this game. You wouldn't have thought it, but he was in the right place at the right time on that right-hand side. Up to 19 goals now in the MLS. My goodness. Could we get him, a tw could we get him 20 for the season? Maybe now, though. Ah, oh, got a bit of curl back, but still wide. There it is. There's the turnover. There's that turnover we were waiting for. Joseph Martinez, I'm going to play him through here. He's got pace. Will he be able to get away? Yeah, yes, he can, but it's there's a stumble, and he, he's not able to get away before the other defender ends up getting there. And half time. There we go. A late little flurry, and we are going to go into half time with the lead 2 1 on aggregate. Oh, the footwork. Oh, what a goal. Nagby scores at 2-1. But the footwork and the assist by Barco, that was unbelievable. Ezequiel Barco, literally one, two, three, and then the back heel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He was just shuffling that ball all over the place and then just ends up playing a no-look back heel through ball to Nagby. What a finish. That could be one of his first goals of the season as well. Wow, what a time to get it. 3-1 on aggregate, and it's only 40 minutes or so left to go in this one. And if away goals are a thing, then they need three. I am not going to try to find out, though. I'm still going to continue on as I have been. Barco's going to be offside. Rubinho's away here. I tried to cut him off, and he is off. He is. I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere near him. This is ridiculous. And then he cuts it back. Zardes, what a save! Fingertip save! They get the rebound goal, though. Oh, man. I was not any... I let them get past me once, and he was off. I was not even catching. i got to make changes. And now they do make it interesting. Look at this save by Farines. It's like, it's just fingertip stuff. Comes in off of... or Yeah, he flicks it, saves it, it comes onto the crossbar. But, of course, uh, there's someone there lying in wait to head it home. Very disappointing. We lose our clean sheet, but we're still up on aggregate. I do not want to find out, though, if we end up tying this game on aggregate. If away goals come into it, that's one more touch more than I wanted. And Singh's down injured after I just made subs. Are you kidding me? And oh my god, we're going to have to take him out. It's a fucking hammer blow. It's, you know, fucked. Jesus, we just conceded. Now you're going to injure a player. Well, what I'm going to do is bring Breck Shea on, put him at left mid, and Barco is going to get moved to center attack and mid. So... I, I've got I've got two fresh um, players now, two fresh left mids and right mids, and a brand new right back as well. So that'll hopefully give me some pace on the wings. But my centre attacking midfielder and my striker are going to be absolutely exhausted. No, Hernandez, we're getting some very sketchy shit 
happen at the moment. I, I honestly, in the next 15 minutes or so, I, I'm, I'm going to be very nervous. Fernandez, that's a poor touch. Fuck me, have you been shit since coming on? Fernandez, Fernandez, I, I swear, every time he's touched the ball, he's turned it over or done something dumb. And he loses that one. He loses that 50-50 battle. Can he make a tackle here? He can't do anything right now. This... That tied it up. That is the worst substitution I've ever made bringing Hernandez on. Unfucking believable He couldn't do anything. He couldn't even want, win one 50-50 battle, lay one tackle, get the ball back for me or anything. He has completely fucked me up on two or three occasions in less than 10 seconds. I moved right out of the way with Nagby though. That's fucking inexcusable. I guess maybe I wasn't expecting the the fucking um, the cut back or anything. I wasn't expecting him to turn around again. I, I thought he'd try to play a pass and now here it is. Level again on aggregate. They're just... That fucking... Wow, what a deflection. And it's over. That little Cruyff turn. They pull that out every fucking time. When all my players have no stamina, no agility. They have the turning circle of the fucking Titanic laid on in these games. It's so effective. And these guys, this Columbus crew team, feel like none of their players have tired at all in these last few minutes. In comes across. Farinez, you have got to grab that. No fucking way, Pogba. It's, this is, you can see it, right? There's too much going on. Oh, Acosta got in the way of that, but it's like it didn't even fucking matter. Slide tackle, went in for it, missed. Sosa, the cross comes in. Rubinho, you're all falling the fuck over. Farina's a big, big save at the near post. We're just hanging on here. Three minutes are nearly up here. They've got to cross one in straight away. Headed away by Pogba. Headed upfield. The three minutes are up. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, that is not a good shot by Fabinho at all. Look, we're five minutes in. They're trying to fucking win him the game. Please, is that it? Or are we going to extra time? I don't know. I think we... Ah, oh, I think we might be. 30 more minutes then. Here we go. We were just hanging on toward the end there. And I, I do not... I'm not looking forward to these next 30 minutes because... This Columbus crew team keep moving the ball around so fucking quickly and all my players are completely drained that I can't keep up with them. Williams, Nagby, you've got to get on your fucking bike. I, I'm smashing LB, trying to get you to run forward. You don't fucking listen and when you do start running, I just run into trouble and get tackled. What is that clearance from Acosta? Oh my god! Are you fucking mental? Honestly, don't tell me that scripting all this shit is not in the game. It's fucked! I'm seeing so much bullshit happen in front of my eyes. I can't. I have to say something. And now the second half starts. All right, we've survived one half. I, we've, we've actually had the odd chance or two to get a winner, though. So maybe it isn't completely about hanging on. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Williams, I think he's just come on. Yes, he has indeed. Little ball into the middle here. Can he win it? Martinez! Joseph Martinez has surely done it for Atlanta! Are you serious? Are you kidding me? On the counter-attack, no one around him just straightened up and scores a beauty! Oh, you beauty! You Venezuelan beauty! A complete counter-attack that has completely ended the Columbus Crew's chances. In the 120th minute, that could do it. Surely we're just having a hang on now. Two minutes of stoppage time. Are they going to look to just push it straight up and grab an equaliser? They're not really in a rush. They're taking too long. I think this could be it. Hold them at bay just that little bit longer. We're in the MLS Cup Final! Oh my goodness! I thought it was going to penalties. We were completely exhausted, but we have found a way. We have done it. You beauty, we are the conference, Eastern Conference champions. How did we do it? How did we do it? Woo! Baby, the MLS Finals will be contested between Sporting Kansas City and Atlanta United. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. We see Rometty get up to 74. Campbell is up to a 58. That's good to see. Wagner's up to a 66. He's popped up and had his moments. That man, Acosta's been pretty big as well. He had one moment that I nearly fucking wanted to just fly to America, find him, and just fucking... When he went to clear that ball and it just skidded off his boot... I, at that point, I was about ready to lose my mind. Well, here we are then, the last game of the season, a week-long break, and hopefully my team is pretty much fully fit. Martino's a little tired, Barco a bit tired, but no, that's, that's fine.
So, ladies and gentlemen, this, what could very well be my last game with Atlanta United, this is the team I've selected for the MLS final. We have got Martinez, Josef Martinez at striker. Gonzalo Martinez goes back to center attack and midfield, all right? If you play at that center attack and midfield or right midfield position, you are literally living on the edge. You're on the front lines. If anyone that I play at right midfield ends up getting injured, all right? We had Villalba get injured. Then I played Carlton there. He got injured. Then I played Martinez there and moved Sarpreet Singh to center attack and midfield. Sarpreet Singh got injured. So... I'm sorry, I apologize in advance to either Gonzalo Martinez or Vasquez because you know one of them is going to end up injured. But Vasquez is like my fourth choice right midfielder and I have to play him there. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we've got Remedi and Acosta, Barco back to left midfield. The back four is my main starting back four. Farinez still in goal. So I'm happy with that team. Would have been much, much happier if we had had Villalba or even bloody Carlton to play there instead. But no, that's what we're going with. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The MLS Cup could very well be ours in these next 90 minutes or more. And it would appear as though we've earned the right to host the final as well. So I'll take that as well. I'll, I'll definitely take that. How about it? There we go. And that is what we're playing for. It's a, it's a fancy looking trophy. I'll give it that. That is for damn sure. I can't recall ever at any point playing against Sporting Kansas City either. So their team is going to be a little unfamiliar to me. Let's see who they've got then. All right, Sporting Kansas City. Guess so. I know their strike is quite decent. All right, Johnny Russell. Uh, a few other names. Man, I can't... All my life, I barely know any of those players. But all right, a 4-3-3 formation is what they're rolling with. And this is it. We have made it to the MLS Cup Final. The best in the West versus the beast of the East. Here we go. Oh, great touch. Brilliant from Martinez. He can turn and go here. I'm hoping he will anyway. Defender's all on his ass. Must have just fucking fucked up his shot. Oh, they got the cross in anyway. No, that's an awful... Are you kidding me? We can't. We did not just give the lead away like that. With a fucking poor header out that's gone right to one of theirs. And then they strike it first time. Are you kidding me? It is the first time that they have gone forward. What in the fuck? That header could not have gone any closer. Any more perfectly to him. Yambere, is that who you are? I, I think that was the centre back. It, it wasn't Pogba, so it would have been the other one. It was Yambere then, in that case. It was. There you go. The centre-back that we ended up getting on a pre-contract that I didn't even sign, who the previous manager wanted. I never would have got you, for fucking obvious reason. I'd have much rather have kept the other centre-back that we had, Gonzalez Pires, who was so much higher rated than you. And now look where we are. Good ball, that. Not bad at all. Low cross. Bang! Locked. Headed down. Martinez! Again! You've had a lot of shots now, Martinez. 20 fucking minutes in, you've had tons. And you've only put them either right at the keeper or well off target. Alright, they've taken a bad touch for a change. That's nice, that's nice. I'll definitely take that. You know, Barco, can't shoot in time. Still got it, though. And he'll be able to... Yeah! Steady! Keep it cool! Keep his calm! And finish past the keeper! His defender dropped himself! We played a good ball through to him. He went to turn to shoot to angle himself. And his defender went to go to block it. He did. But ended up just falling over. Barco with, you know, a tight space. A tight angle to work with. But he's just found a way. Keeping it low enough so that the keeper can't get his complete hand on it. And there we go. Tying it up before half time. I will take that. I've got Kellen Acosta over this one. The keeper is a real long way out to the left here. So I get the feeling if I were to just pop, maybe a little more power was needed. Maybe not. Oh, that was bloody close. If I get another opportunity like that, I'm going to take it because, yeah, and I won't angle it as far out to the right because that was very close. And Escobar again gets it in the way of that one. Vasquez. Got to be honest, mate, not having a good game. You're not really doing that much for me on this right-hand side. Come on, you can at least know you can't even slide in for that one. If that's... Now they take the lead again. Vasquez! Oh, why am I playing my fourth fucking choice right midfielder? Oh, that's why, because everyone else is injured. How else do they do it? It was right there, and he is fucking walking to the ball when I'm trying to get him to sprint. They get a cross in. Is there any surprise? That that's how they get their goal. Is there any surprise that the marking is fucking atrocious? I thought we had at least tied it up going into the half. But no, of course not. You can't let them get any space on these wings. Vasquez, little ball in here. Martinez, he just, no, he 
tried to take the touch and shoot, but no, of course, just bumped off the ball too easily. And that's half time. Man, we could have fucking gotten it right back again. But no, we couldn't even do that. Headed away, headed away. No, he's lost it. Of course he has. Oh, that's a big interception, but taking too long. And again, the ball bounces back to him. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Again, the bounces of the balls is going back to them. We can't hold the possession for a second, even when we make an intercept or a block. Let's see it. First, they win the header there. So we lost that one. Intercepted. Remedi's taking too long. They're all just fucking jogging. Every time the ball is right in front of them, they're walking to it. There's no, absolutely no, like, you know, rush or... Yeah, any, uh, I don't even know what the word is, to try to, like, any fucking enthusiast, that's not even the word, I can't even think of the word, I'm so pissed off right now, fuck this. Is he gonna be onside here? I think I might have taken a bit too long, I'm genuinely not sure if he's on or not. Looks like he is, Barco, cross, back stick, that's not a bad one, are you kidding me? Why the volley, and even off target again? Poor turnover. But again, every time we make an intercept, no one can take a good touch. Try to play it up the line. It's picked off. They'll probably get a fourth here. Vasquez. Oh, great touch. Great touch again. No, that's it. Nah, fuck it. it's not worth it. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster. This just could not have gone much worse than this, you know. Wow, I, I can't believe it. How did... I don't think this is... I've not... Played at my best. But at the same time, I just we've had some shit go against us in the early stages of this game, which has put me in a bad mood, and I've not been able to recover from it. I've not been able to get many chances, and I haven't been at my best. I've just been poor in general, but fuck me. Just don't let them get a fifth. Come on. They don't, they, they don't deserve to win this 4-1, um, but fuck me if they deserve five. Jesus Christ, don't let them get it. Okay. So we lose a cup final. We have come into this Atlanta United team outside the top six nearly halfway through the season. We've got them up to second. We've finished on top, or not on top, we've won our Eastern Conference. We've made the MLS Cup final, and then we lose to Sporting Kansas City. And if I'm being honest, I don't really know if I should end it here or not. As much as I would love to move on, I don't really think I I can. I can't leave like this. I can't end it on this. I I feel like I have to I have to keep going, you know. I really do think I do. I'm gonna take a look and see what jobs are available, and depending on what's available, I might stay another season at Atlanta United because I can't I can't let this be my last memories with this club. I'm not gonna I don't wanna let that happen. This absolutely fucking horrific final. What it's been a fucking disaster. I just can't let it end like this. Oh, jeez. Well, um, I'm going to advance now. I don't think you really get that many offers in December. I'm going to advance to January, see what sort of clubs are asking for my signature, if any, after what just happened. We're getting an offer to be the international manager, but I, I don't think I'll entertain that yet. But for that season overall, we, uh, we had, of course, Martinez with 19 and 12 assists, probably almost by far our player of the season. Wow. He's really put up numbers in sim games. He's been okay for me, but yeah. Uh, Josef Martinez, 16 goals in 26 games. So we played like almost 13, yeah, 13 less than the other Martinez, three assists. Villalba did bloody well, as did Barco. That that front four is deadly. It was go It was a fantastic. I love that. I love that team so much, that front four attack. If only we had you, mate, Villalba. I think you could have changed the game for us quite a fair bit, but... Uh, Acosta had a few, Nagby as well, and the top assisters in the team. Again, Martinez on top, Barco with eight, Acosta with eight, Villalba, and then a few others dis uh, around, or, you know, just dispersed throughout the rest of the team. So we end the season. The board's happy with how the season went, getting to an MLS Cup final. It's a shame we couldn't go the whole way, but they want me to stay next season. I'm going to advance, and we are going to see, um, you know, and I'm still waiting to see clubs that aren't from within the MLS actually approach me because I've had a bunch of clubs offer me jobs from within the MLS, but none outside the MLS. You may recall, we did make one pre-contract signing in the previous window, uh, Nandez, who has joined us now, and you have got to look at this boy. He ends up being 80 rated, and you would think that, oh, that's absolutely incredible for MLS standards. Well, he's not higher rated than uh, Gonzalo Martinez or 
uh, Joseph Martinez, but and I'll tell you what, we've got a bunch of players in this team with the last name ending Ez. You got the last letter, your last two letters of your name are EZ, then you are into the team. Martinez, Martinez, Nandez, Farinez, you've got Hernandez, Vasquez, what is going on here? But Nandez, though, his mental and physical are absolutely mental. He has 99 stamina, and every other stat that he has is above 70. His skill attributes are all right as well. Maybe could be a little bit higher in some areas, but he looks like he is going to be glorious alongside Acosta. So here's what's going on. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we're going to we're gonna pick up in the January trends window, make maybe a few more signings, because we've got 30 mil now again in the budget, which is glorious, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have another season with Atlanta United. I've decided. I can't end it the way that I ended it, all right? We are going to have a second season, but we're probably not going to go the same pace that we did the first. I am more than likely going to play like one game a month, and that's it. We're going to smash out this second season with uh, with Atlanta United real quick. Hopefully, win the MLS Cup again, or go and win the actually win the MLS Cup this time. And then I'll feel a lot better about leaving the team. Not the end to my time with Atlanta United. Not the way I'd expected it to go. But we're still going to push on anyway. That's life. That's, you know, no manager wins every single cup fucking final. It just, it just shit happens, man. It happens. We still had a good season. We took the team that was out of the top six, took them up to second. We were champions of the Eastern Conference. And we just unfortunately fell at the last hurdle. It sucks, but... I, I want to win that MLS Cup now. I am fucking fired up for it. Till the next episode, till the next season, my name's Masterbucks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.